Hi, this is Karen with Karen's Cards and More, and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. Um, I've got a beautiful, fun card to share with you today. I'm going to be featuring products from a suite in the new mini catalog. Um, I am an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up, so I use Stampin' Up products in my videos, and you can order those from my blog. You can also find the card dimensions and instructions there as well, as, as well as the links to order. Um, that's karenscardsandmore.com. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and uh, the notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So this is our newest catalog, and, and it's a mini catalog. Several times a year they come out with these. Uh, well, actually a couple times a year they come out with these. And so this is the newest one, and there's a lot of really cool sweets in here, stamp sets, die sets. But I want to show you... Um, this is called the Perennial Lavender Suite. Beautiful. If you like purples and greens together, um, one of my favorite colors is Lost Lagoon, and it's in here. Um, and, and the purples, I love our purples. So they're all in here. Um, you get two stamp sets and two die sets, but the one stamp set is just uh, images and one is just greetings. You get these beautiful die cut butterflies. They're already die cut for you and you can use them directly on your project. And then you get some um, shimmer, purple shimmer gems. So let's, let's talk about the, let me show you the card first and then I'll tell you what you need to create the card. So we are going to be making what I'm calling a pop and gate fold. So traditionally, this is what we see when we have a gatefold. And you can make a belly band for this. You can do it just like this. You could put a die cut on the front, whatever you, no, you know you normally see with your gatefold. But when you open this gatefold, oh, it pops up. So when it's standing up like that, what you see to the front is you see this pop out. Um, and here's our little die cut butterfly. Just really pretty card. I think anyone that receives this will be really excited to display it. Um, so we're going to feature the designer series paper. And another thing I did with this card that I don't normally do is I also decorated the back. And the reason being is that's where I put my white piece that I could sign, um, write a message to whoever I'm sending it to. Um, so I went ahead and decorated the back. So I'm using a lot of the different designer series paper on this and we're going to do some um, scoring and some cutting before we get into what we're going to need for the card I do want to point out if you're if you're noticing my surface here um, also with the in the new mini catalog with that we now have a glass mat so I know that's a popular thing when you're doing your ink blending, um, just different mediums that we work with and things we, we wanna protect our surface. Now Stampin' Up! has this beautiful glass mat and I love it. And it comes with, um, you also get this rubber mat with it and you get this, um, like you can put your ink cubes in and your ink pads on it to hold them still. So just a really neat set, a little bit pricey, but just really worth having if you use a lot of different mediums if you're looking for a glass mat. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention before we get into the card. So let's talk about what we're gonna use. We're gonna start with Blackberry Bliss cardstock, and this is five and a half by eight and a half, and we'll cut and score on that together. And then we're gonna need, um, for the front and the back, you're gonna need two pieces each. So these are the two designs that I've selected. These are um, one and seven eighths by five and three eighths, and that's gonna go on the panels. And then you're gonna need two pieces that are one and seven eighths by two and seven eighths, and those are for the middle panel. So on the front, it's this piece, on the back, it's this piece. So you'll need two of those. And then for each, the front and the back, you're gonna need four. So here's my back ones, here's my front ones. You're gonna need four pieces that are one and an eighth by one and seven eighths. And you'll just need four of those. Then you're going to, uh, I used Fresh Freesia and 
Let me show you the stamp and die sets so this will make sense of how I where I got this. So here is one of the sets that you get with this suite. This is the painted lavender stamp set. You can see all these beautiful floral images and then you have the corresponding die set. Um, if you don't want the suite, you can order these. If you order these together, you'll be able to bundle them and get a discount. So the other set, this is really cool. So this perennial postage is all greetings and we're gonna use the big hugs from that. But I love this die set. These are to look like postage stamps. You've even got the little die of the, um, like the postmark that they stamp on it. Really cool set. I can't wait to play some more with this set. So I used the square, the smallest square, to cut the greeting piece. And then I'm using one of the die cut um, butterflies that come with this suite. So you've got a large and a small that are like a side view. Actually, you got three, you got a small, medium, and large. And then you got two that are the full butterfly. So a lot you can do with that. And you can even, um, like you could take your markers or your ink, do ink blending on these, um, your stamp pads. So there's a lot of uses for those. And then we're going to just use Gorgeous Grape to stamp our greeting, okay? So that's all of the pieces parts. We do have some cutting and scoring that we need to do. So let me bring in my trimmer. I'm just gonna move some stuff out of the way so I can make sure this is on the camera. So we're gonna start by doing scoring. So on the long side, I said this was five and a half by eight and a half. It is actually not. It is five and a half by eight. Okay, five and a half by eight. So let's start. We're going to put this on the two inch mark. And we're going to score that. Then we're going to move it to the four inch mark. And score that. And then we're going to move on to the six inch mark and we're gonna score that, okay? Now we're going to turn it to the short side, is at the top and the bottom, and we're gonna put this on one and a quarter. We're gonna line it up inch and a quarter. Now we're gonna be using the cutting blade, so I'm gonna move that scoring blade up out of the way. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna cut from two to six. So I'm gonna put my blade at the two inch mark and that's gonna line up. Basically, we're gonna cut from this first fold through the second fold and stop at the third fold. Let me make sure this is on the camera so you can see this. So we're gonna start cutting at the first fold, which is two inch. We're gonna cut up to the six inch, which will be the last fold. So let me get this lined up again on the inch and the quarter. Okay, and I've got this lined up on two inches. And then I'm just gonna move my finger so my blade digs down in there. And I'm just going to slice up till I get to the six inch mark, okay? Then I'm going to move it over to four and a quarter. And I wanna repeat that same thing. So I'm putting it on the two inch, which is that first fold. And I'm just going to cut up to that top fold, two to six, just like that, okay? Now we're gonna to turn to the long side again, and we're gonna line it up on the three inch side. And we're gonna be using our score. And we want to score between the cut lines. So on the three inch, I'm on the, th I have my paper at the three inch and I just want to score between those cut lines. And then I'm gonna move it to the five inch mark. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I just want to score between those cut lines. 
okay? Now that's got our card stock all prepared and ready to go. Now, we wanna do some um, creasing on this just to get it ready to start putting things on. Um, I find it's easier to go ahead and do these creasing and then start attaching my designer series paper. You could start putting your designer series paper on now if you chose to. So we're gonna fold these side panels in, okay? I'm gonna get my bone folder so I can go over these creases because I wanna make sure they're good and creased. And then I'm going to fold this other side in. Okay. So there's our basic gatefold. We want to pinch the top and the bottom in the middle. We don't want to pinch the middle piece. We want to fold. So you got three fold lines in the middle. You want to fold the two outside ones. You want to crease those, but you don't want to crease on that middle one. Okay? And then I like to fold it up like this and just go over my creases. Just make sure that my creases are good and folded. Okay? And then you could you could always go the other way too and just go over your folds okay so there we have our card our basic card is done now we're just attaching stuff to our card before we go ahead with that let's go ahead and do our stamping get it out of the way because then we're done with our stamping i'm going to bring in my gorgeous grape we only have one thing to stamp so this this shouldn't be a big deal and we're doing the big hugs, so I'm just gonna ink that up. And then I'm just going to stamp that down in the middle. Just like that. We're done with our ink pad. So now we're ready to go ahead and start placing our um, designer series paper. So I'm gonna bring in my liquid glue and I'm gonna start with the front. I'm gonna get my pieces on the front. So these are the ones that I want on these panels. So I'm just going to put some glue on here. You could definitely use your um, stamp and seal if you'd rather use that. And for me, it's easier to do it lining up the long side. I like the liquid glue on stuff like this because it gives me a little more time to make sure it's where I want it to be before I press it down. Okay, so there's that. We're gonna do the same thing with this other panel. Just going to line this up and press that down okay and I'm gonna go ahead and put my piece in the middle These are just narrow, um, narrow borders. Okay, okay. Now we're going to put our little, um, our little pieces on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to bring in the ones that we're going to do on the front. And just keep in mind if your pieces are directional and that the flowers go a certain direction, make sure you take a look at it before you put them on so that you're getting them in the right direction. So I'm just going to line those up. I 
I, many times I've had to pull something off and either cut a new piece to glow, glue over top or um, re-glue a piece because I put it upside down. So always double check that before you stick it down. Okay, so we got two more of these to go. I know this, this card can look more intimidating um, than it really is. It's not a hard card. It's just you get a lot of wow. A lot of wow factor on this one. Okay, there's that one. One more. And then I'm going to flip it over and, and decorate the back. Um, before we do our focal point on the front. I knew that would happen as soon as I squeezed hard. I want to make sure I get it on the edges. Okay. There's those, and I'm just gonna flip this over and we're gonna work on the back just the same way. So I'm gonna go ahead and put our middle piece on. do the same thing with our side pieces. Okay. So I'm just going to, and I want to make sure my direction on the front, so I get the front and the back both going in the same direction. Press that down. Again, we're going to pay attention to the direction that we need to go. Got that one. I need to get a new bottle of glue. This one's about empty. Okay, two more pieces, and then we'll be ready to decorate our little area on the front, and then we'll have our card done. One more. I've got glue on my fingers. Now it's pulling my stuff up. Okay. There we go. Now I'm gonna flip this back over. And I want to pop up my little square in the middle. Um, I wanna pop that up with dimensionals, so I'm gonna bring in my dimensionals. And you could use the regular or you could use the mini on this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the regular ones. This is when I love my take, take your pick tool um, because it, just pulls these off so easy and then it makes it easy to get the paper off so i love these this is one of those 
if you if you ask me for one of um, our tools that are really beneficial, I would say the take your pick tool for sure. Okay. Now I want to keep this towards the bottom because I want to have room for our butterfly um, to fly. So I'm going to be using the smallest of the ones that are um, the profile of the butterfly. So here's what I have. And because I'm attaching this to that square that's popped up, what I did is I just used a little glue dot. And right here behind the body part of the butterfly, it's thicker. And I was able to put that glue dot behind there and hide it. So I'm just gonna press that on there. So it's hidden. And then you can just use your take your pick tool to pop that off. And then I just want to That looks good. I'm just going to put it right there. There. Okay, and then I'm going to use some of these purple shimmer gems. And I'm using the lightest of the purple hues that are in this pack. I'm putting one down here. And every one you make, you're probably going to put something in a little bit different place. And that's okay. That makes it special. That makes it unique. Um, how about that? There we have it. Our card is done. This is the one that we just made together. This is the one that I made previously. You can put it in your envelope like this, like folding your um, pieces like this so that your, your pop-out part is to the front. Or you can fold it like a traditional gatefold and do a belly band or some ribbon. Um, if you were going to do ribbon, what I would have done is I would have put my ribbon underneath the middle piece on the back and brought it around. Um, a belly band would work really well on this. Or, like I said, you can put it in your car in your envelope like this, and then when they pull it out, it'll pop up. Either way, whatever works for you, what, whatever you think looks nice, however you want to go ahead with it, um, you could put one to each side. I kind of like that. Um, so play around with it, see what you like. But beautiful cards for display because they'll stand up and that pops out. Pop and gatefold. I hope you'll give this a try. Play around with your designer series papers and see what you come up with. And um, be sure to check out my Facebook group, my Facebook page. I'd love to have you join those. And I will be back with you to craft again soon.